Have you ever purchased something but then ended up returning it, selling it, giving it away, but then bought it again in the future? I've done that quite often with longboards, but I've only done it once when it comes to guitars, and that's with this one. The Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass RS HSS. This one specifically is in powder blue, but I previously got this guitar in 2020 and it was in vintage turquoise and I ended up returning it, but I'll tell you why at the end of this video. So I recently got this guitar and actually if you watch my Harmony Silhouette review as well, uh, just for reference, I got that guitar on a Friday. This one came the following Sunday. So I got these guitars pretty close to each other. So I haven't had them for that long, but I wanted to share my initial impressions with you. I ordered it from Pro Audio Star, and that was the first guitar that I've ordered from them, and I'm happy to report that the guitar was, arrived in great condition. There wasn't anything wrong with the shipping or with the packaging or anything like that. The guitar was plastic wrapped inside a mono case, which was then in a shipping box that had an additional piece of cardboard to help keep the case secure inside the box. And just as a quick side note, Music Man guitars used to come in a hard shell case, but they recently switched to mono cases. I personally am in favor of that because the mono cases are great and they look nice, they feel premium, and they're lighter than hard shell cases, but just as a heads up in case you prefer having a hard case. Now let's go over the specs on this guitar. Starting with the headstock, we have Schaller locking tuners with Ernie Ball Music Man's 4 over 2 headstock design. It has the company logo going through the middle of the headstock and it says cutlass on the edge. The guitar has a rosewood fretboard with a 10 inch fingerboard radius, 22 medium stainless steel frets, and a 25 and a half inch scale length. The truss rod adjustment is at the heel of the neck, which makes adjustments quick and easy. The pickups are Music Man custom pickups, as is the bridge, which is a two point tremolo. I personally find the bridge comfortable to play on. The body is made of alder and again is painted in powder blue. The guitar has one volume and one tone knob that are not push pull, and it has a five way pickup selector switch. Moving to the back of the guitar, it has a gorgeous figured roasted maple neck that is finished with hand rubbed oil and wax. And finally, there is a battery compartment that powers the silent circuit, which reduces the hum from the single coils while keeping the true single coil sound. And now I'm going to share some sound clips with you. The signal chain is the guitar going into this, which is the Horizon Devices Clarity Compressor Pedal, which is then going into my Universal Audio Volt 2 audio interface, and I'm using the Neural DSP Archetype Pliny X for the tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what are some of the things that I initially like about this guitar? Because I will admit, I'm in the honeymoon phase of owning it. I've only had this guitar for a week or so now. And I'll just say that I really like it a lot. First off, the neck. The neck is so comfortable and smooth to play. It feels so good. And it looks awesome too, in my opinion. And uh, I like the way that the pickup sound and the bridge is comfortable. Everything just feels effortless to play on this guitar. And while I was looking for an S-style guitar, I really appreciate that this one only has one volume knob and one tone knob because a lot of S-style guitars have three knobs, like a volume knob and then two tone knobs. I personally do not like that setup because it moves the volume knob closer to the bridge pickup and then I end up bumping it when I'm palm muting. So what do I dislike about the guitar? At this point in time, nothing really to be honest this guitar i just am really vibing with it lately and i have no issues with it if i had to be extremely nitpicky and this is just my personal preference i don't really like it when guitars have batteries that either power something or the the pickups are active and require a battery but i could easily swap out the pickups if it got to the point where it was just bothering me too much so why did i get this guitar return it and then get it again a few years later this comes down to a couple of reasons, and the first one I will admit is a little bit petty. So as you can see on this guitar, again, it's got this beautiful flamed roasted maple neck, so it's got the nice tiger stripes, and that is what I was looking for. The one that I got was from a different company, and I didn't see pictures ahead of time, but I also didn't see pictures ahead of time on this one, but it came with a bird's eye roasted maple neck and fingerboard. And while that looked really cool, that wasn't what I was looking for, and so that was part of the reason why I wanted to return it. And the other reason is because, honestly, I don't think I was quite ready for a guitar like this at the time. So when I ordered the first Cutlass, it was in December of 2020, and then I returned it within the return window, and then I got this one in February of 2024. So that was over three years worth of time, and I remember when I was playing the first Cutlass that I had, I wasn't quite gelling with the pickups. But part of that was on me because I was a guitar player that primarily played dual humbucker guitars, and I primarily lived in the bridge position, and I was playing heavy riffs and things like that. So I didn't really explore the other pickup positions, and I wanted to try something different, so that's what I ended up getting that guitar, and I ended up returning it because it wasn't giving me the same feeling of what I was used to. But I feel like as I've developed as a guitar player, I feel like I am now in a spot where I can play more without feeling like, oh, I have to have this specific type of guitar to really bond with it and really express myself. And really, I was blown away by the quality that the guitar had when I first got it. And it was a little sad for me to let it go, but I, ultimately, I just wasn't ready for it at the time. And who knows, maybe you can relate to that as well, because maybe you've gotten a guitar and you're like, you know what, this is a great guitar, but maybe it's just not for me, or maybe it's just not for me at this point in time. And you try it again later, and you're like, yeah, this is definitely it now. And that's how I feel about this guitar. So with all of that being said, if I were to get rid of this guitar or something were to damage it and it was just broken beyond repair, would I buy it again? At this point in time, I would say 100% absolutely I would. This guitar just feels so nice to play and I just can't speak highly enough about Ernie Ball Music Man's quality on this and craftsmanship. It's a really great guitar. But what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay cool like a cloud and have a great day.